Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the Phantom 2 Vision, which is a, well, they call it a flying camera produced by a company called DJI. A quick run through of the specs before I open the box to show you what it is. It's got a 5200 milliamp hour LiPo battery, which they say will give around about 25 minutes worth of flight time, which is again, a pretty solid amount of flight time out of a quadcopter of this quality and this this flexibility. The resolution of the camera is 14 megapixels, 140 degrees, 120 degrees and 90 degrees. And you get the cool ability to control the whole, or to, to view the whole thing from your smartphone via a uh, Wi-Fi connection. It's basically a, a computer, a flying computer actually, rather than a flying camera. So you get a nice set of, of um, documentation, quick start guide uh, and things like this out of the box. Most of the, 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 the documentation you need is actually online and in the videos and everything else like that. They've designed the, the craft to be as easy to fly as possible. In the box, the controller, which has the bracket on the top here for the range extender and also the amount that comes here for the uh, smartphone mount. Runs off four AAA batteries. And they say with the range extender, it can go up to something like a thousand feet in range. This is the range extender itself, the power charge block. And this is the actual clamp for holding the smartphone. The actual quadcopter itself features the camera um, on a nicely vibration damped gimbal system, which can be controlled tilt and pan from the smartphone as you're flying. And one of the very cool things about this is, is you can set the quadcopter into automatic hover mode using GPS and spend your time then just framing your shots with pan and tilt on the camera to make sure you get exactly the kind of shots you want and the camera will maintain position as, as close as it can in the wind and stuff. And this is the battery unit, which slots in and out. Minimal amount of assembly needed out of the box. Basically, you've got to uh, put the, the props on, charge up this battery, and that is really ab I mean, about it. The other things you'll, you'll need to do is to install this DJI Vision app. The app itself is, is fairly simplistic to use again. You get the camera app, so when you're actually connected to the, uh, the Wi-Fi wi system, that the Phantom Vision gives out. So you're getting the full control. So you're getting a full point of view that you would do from a standard point of view set of goggles or whatever as you're flying. It's really brilliant, really nicely executed. So that's actually it out of the box. It's really just a matter of putting the bits together and starting to fly. The app is installed, so that's ready to go. And then it's a matter of... Sounds pretty professional, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got everything running now and it's connected and powers on to everything. And I've got the... Wi First I had to connect to the Wi-Fi, the actual Phantom Wi-Fi system which I'm now done which means I can control the camera from here I get to see can you see all that this is a uh, let me just put the something in front of the cameras I don't know if you can see that on the on the there you go there's my fingers in front of the camera on the phantom there it's very crude but hey it's a, it's a rough rough demo for you I've got flight altitude ability to change the gimbal on the the camera angle on the gimbal um, to take a shot to capture some video here these controls how many shots i can take how full my sd card is the state of the battery life on the phantom and also the wi-fi connector level and the final thing is uh, at the top here the satellites gps satellites of course i've got none because i'm indoors here filming this 
Right at the bottom here, how the distance away from you and the altitude and the speed. Fantastically useful things when you're flying from a distance. This is ready to go. If I want to fly it, I can fly it. I'm gonna try and fire up the props indoors here and see what happens. To do that, you have to move both of these in and down. There you go. And that's what it sounds like when it's running on the ground. I've got a couple of red lights at the front and some flashing amber at the back. Um, it's really quite quiet though. My goodness, that's really impressive. Right, next, well, next up will be an outdoor flight. So as we can see, the, the Phantom stays exactly where you place it, which makes it a beautiful thing to, to fly, because as you can see, I've got no hands on at all. I'm literally just uh, letting it fly itself by the 10 satellites. We've got a 10 satellite lock. So I can change the viewpoint of the camera and really get the kind of shots I need, which is really very cool. So it does what it's told, it, it stays, and when you're starting with this craft, it's really advisable to stick with the GPS controls because it makes it a lot easier to fly. It's a gorgeous piece of equipment to fly, I have to say. Uh, about as easy as you can get. They've really thought out all of the issues of quadcopters and and the complications of yaw and wind it just the onboard computing just keeps it where it should be hands off it means you can really focus on getting the kind of shot you know you want <laughs> 